Hello students, welcome to class PM. In today's class, we are going to discuss about our second part of spectroscopy that is electromagnetic radiations. So what is electromagnetic radiation and what are their characteristics? So first we will discuss what is electromagnetic radiation. So whenever a charged particle is accelerated, whenever a charged particle is accelerated, it produces oscillating electric and magnetic fields okay and is charged particle it can be smaller like uh, electron also right? otherwise electric circuit also you can take the electrons in the electric circuit also can be so whenever a charged particle is accelerated so it produces oscillating electric and the magnetic fields these two oscillating electric and magnetic and they go or transform transmit in the form of waves so these waves which are transmitting in the form of waves are called electromagnetic waves because that those two fields are electric field and magnetic field and also they are propagating in the form of waves that's why these fields which are propagating in the form of waves are called electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiations okay now let's see here the characteristics of electromagnetic radiation so we understood how electromagnetic radiations are produced how they are produced whatever charge if it is accelerated it produces oscillating electric and magnetic fields oscillating electric and magnetic fields they travel in the form of waves so they are called electromagnetic waves and also you can call it as electromagnetic radiation so let's see the characteristics of electromagnetic radiation first one in this in the electromagnetic radiation both electric field and the magnetic field are present that we already discussed now these two fields electric and the magnetic field orthogonal to each other which means perpendicular to each other they make oscillations perpendicular to each other here you can see that if you think this is a y axis this is x axis this is z axis okay now this black color line is electric field this blue color line which is making horizontal oscillations is magnetic field so let's imagine here this is one kind of oscillation which is electric up and down is electric field now this is two and fro fro and two fro and back fro and back this is magnetic field so if you see that one is making vibrations up and down one is making front and back vibration so this is electric field this is magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other and these two fields are perpendicular to the direction of propagation see here the direction of propagation is in this direction so this is the direction one is making this vibration angle you can see it is 90 degrees another one making vibrations like this and the, the propagation is this direction see again 90 degrees okay so these oscillating electric and the magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation that is the first characteristic okay both electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation perpendicular to the direction of propagation this is the first character second character these electromagnetic radiations do not require any medium unlike sound waves okay sound waves required medium because i am talking here if there is no any medium like water or any solid or gaseous substances here you cannot hear what i am speaking so sound waves require some medium but these electromagnetic radiations or electromagnetic waves do not require any medium they do not required medium for the propagation do not required medium for the propagation that is the second characteristic and the third characteristic is that these electromagnetic radiations 
there are different type of electromagnetic radiations in the next class we are going to see what are the different types of electromagnetic radiation see all these electromagnetic radiations are having different properties but even though they are having different properties and the parameters all of them will propagate with the same velocity in the space okay in the space all types of electromagnetic radiations propagate with the same velocity that velocity equal to the light velocity which we already know 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second this is the velocity of a light so all types of whatever type what are the various types of electromagnetic we will see in the next class okay but all those types of electromagnetic radiations will propagate with the same velocity in the space that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second or 3 into 10 to the power of 10 meter per second okay these are the different characteristics of the electromagnetic radiation it's easy to remember so the only first characteristic are how they are produced and what are their main three characteristics how they are produced whenever a charged particle is accelerated okay it produces oscillating electric and the magnetic fields that charged particle can be any charged particle acceleration can by any process okay it's applicable for the all the mechanical system which is having this particular situation okay they produce oscillating electric and the magnetic fields since they are traveling in the form of waves they are called electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiations and their characteristics if you see both electric and the magnetic fields are propagate perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation and the second thing is they do not read medium and the third one is that they travel in the space with all electromagnetic radiations with equal velocity that is equal to velocity of the light 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second okay now this is electromagnetic radiation so there are certain parameters to describe this electromagnetic radiation now we need to study what are those parameters which will describe electromagnetic radiation what do you mean by parameters for example you want to describe a person how do you describe you will describe the the so and so height and the white and the color complexion and eyes look like this and you will give some description to identify a particular person so those are nothing but there are some parameters to describe a particular person or a particular place okay you are want to give an address so you will tell the sum this is the parameters you have to follow to reach that place the same way to understand electromagnetic radiation there are certain parameters to study them or to describe these electromagnetic radiations so in our next class we are going to see what are those parameters which will describe the electromagnetic radiations